Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so if you saw the last video, I showed you how to get your Android apps. Now, this is by getting BlueStack. So if you don't know how to install this, first go to um, that video and check it out. Now, how we use this, because this is a little confusing. I'm going to be honest with you right away. This is a little confusing. So, how you get past that is, we get to sign into our store. So, how we do that is, now I haven't found a way, honestly, to quickly bring this up. The only thing I've done is kind of swipe from the right, and then we get this menu bar pop up. So, if you do know how to quickly get that up without doing that, uh, please let me know, because I'm not sure how to. Um, but, once we go from here, we're going to go to settings, so this little tool part right here. And we're going to go into settings. And from here, we're going to manage account. So this will be where we add our Gmail account. So I'm going to go into here, and then it'll say, you know, do you want us to auto sync and back up, of course. And right down here, we're going to add account. And we're going to add our Google account, because that's our important one, of course. And then we're going to go next, and then we're going to sign in. I will, of course, have to take this offline for a second, and I'll be right back. Now the first thing I'm hoping to do is get an alternative keyboard because this one is not that good at all guys. It's kind of like the stock Android keyboard but like it's tiny tiny tiny. So it's not doing that well. Okay so now it's going to need time to communicate and it's saying it couldn't get it. It's saying the password didn't match it because of the keyboard. Let's try that again. Hopefully that should be fine. I do need to clean that screen. I don't have my screen protect screen cleaner with me though. Okay, now it is linked, and now we can finish the setup. And so now we should have that. And Sync is on now, and now we should be able to go back and go home to the blue stacks right here. And now I have this back in. So if I want to install, say, Army Darkness Defense, it is searching the store, and I should be able to touch this. And for some reason, it wants me to add the account again. So I'm going to do that. I don't know why it didn't link up the way it should have, but this is why I want to show you guys how to do this so that you know right away before installing it. Okay. There is my email address. Now I'm just putting in my password again. Okay, and it's telling me this account is already on the phone, and then it just brought me to the Play Store itself, I see. So, now we shall continue to the Play Store, and of course I accept, and there you go guys, we have the Play Store, obviously not in the best look, let me see if I can fix that, uh, let's go to settings.
And let's go to app size. Let's do the default. I had changed it. But let's try it as the default. Let's see if that runs better. And now I can install the app. And there we have it, guys. So now, how do I bring up menu from here? Okay, so now I can bring up a menu and I can see my apps and I can install the Twitter app and of course I can see all of the apps I normally install right here alright guys so um, I will go that is how you install your app so once you're in the store of course you can just go all wild and just get all of your regular apps so we can go right over here and we can get all of our favorite apps such as Pandora and such as where's the other one that's not on Windows? Where's Instagram? We know it's here. Somewhere. You get five points guys if you say more than me. Um Okay, no, it's somewhere here, but it could be just blind. But yes, Instagram should be somewhere here. <laughs> but anyway, at least you get Pandora right away, as you can see, and lots of different apps you can get. So, this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship, guys. Android on Windows Surface tablet. Um, if you have any other questions on uh, which apps can you get, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.